Now, logarithms and exponentials are inverses of each other. And through those relationships, or because they're inverse of each other, there's a couple other properties I want to introduce you to. If you want to figure out how we dissolve um, how those were derived, uh, please Google that or look for one of my other videos on that one. But for right now, I just want to introduce to you that if you see something that says the log of b to the x base b, that simply equals x. And then if we see another one where I have b, raise this up to the log of x base b, that also equals x. So a couple of properties there that are based on the fact that exponents and logarithms are inverses of each other. So this might be a tool that will be helpful for us as we look. Of course, we have to look for where this is making sure that b is greater than 0 and not equal to 1. Remember, just like in exponents, we want to watch out for a couple of spots. So let's look at how we would evaluate the log of 4 to the 5th base 4. Follows this pattern up there. So the solution or the evaluation is simply the 5. Likewise, if I have 6 raised to the power of log 9 base 6, and it's, again, it's unusual seeing a logarithm in the exponent position. But if you do, and the bases match each other, then its valuation is that value of 9. So again, two more tools just to file away. So as we're looking to simplify and solve, these might be some tools, or some, yeah, some tools to help you solve these problems maybe a little bit quicker.